Mercedes AMG GT4 door coupe exterior design. Overview. The weight is over and the AMG GT sedan, oops, I mean four door coupe, is finally here. It hits the scene in three different trim levels with the GT53 being the baby of the bunch followed by the GT63 and GT63S. It delivers anywhere between 429 horsepower and 630 horsepower, with the GT53 using being the only one of the three to get an inline six and is considered a mild hybrid. The exterior is exactly what you've seen before, as long as you've seen the CLS, but there are a few tweaks to differentiate the two on the outside while the inside gets the traditional GT style cabin, dash and 12.3 inch display screens included. The AMG GT4 door coupe is really just a CLS with a few tweaks here and there. Sorry to break it to you folks, but it's true. The front fascia is nearly identical, with the exception of the headlights being taller in the outer corners ultimately changing the shape of the front fascia, while the grille is nearly identical, with the exception of the vertical slats. Down below, the fascia is the exact same, minus the BMW M2 styled inserts around the air intakes as opposed to a pair of vertical louvers found on the CLS. The hood gets a pair of nostril lines in the center while the side profile is outright identical below the belt line. Seriously, the GT4 door even has the same lower body line and side skirts found on the CLS. Above the belt line, things change a bit, but not much. Mercedes kept the same A pillars and window shaping up front, but out back the belt line takes a sharp curve upward to finish off in a point that seemed toward the rear spoiler. It's a much better look than the stationary half moon glass of the CLS, but it's pretty clear that Mercedes reused the CLS template. Around back, the differences between the two are quite subtle, with the GT4 door having a shorter rear glass and more refined C pillars. The taillights are thinner and the deck lid shorter. The CLS is even a little sportier back here with the upswept deck lid the AMG GT4 door doesn't have. Looking from the rear, you can see exactly what Mercedes did to make the GT not a CLS, they changed the shape of the rear door glass and added a piece of glass to the C-pillar. To really add insult to injury, Mercedes even used the same rear fascia for the GT4 door with a slightly wider license plate recess and shallower vents in the corners. The rear diffuser is what the CLS should have had, with an opening in the middle, nestled nicely between the twin, dual exhaust outlets. It's exciting that it's here, but we have to deduct a few points for Mercedes' lack of originality on this one.